The rise of facial recognition technology has revolutionized authentication or authentication offering unparalleled convenience and security. However, this advancement has also introduced a new vulnerability. Sophisticated attackers are leveraging AI-powered face-swapping services to create convincing deepfakes, deceiving even the most robust security systems. Now, these malicious actors are using fake mobile applications to gain unauthorized access to victims' accounts, promise, well, compromising sensitive information and identities. To further the conversation, we're joined by Lucas Mulife, the cybersecurity consultant. A very good morning to you, Lucas. Thanks for joining us. Welcome. Good morning, Superior. Thank you. Now, deepfakes are becoming increasingly sophisticated. How can we ensure facial recognition systems keep pace? It's all about understanding that there are limitations with facial recognition as a whole, right? Now, very important is that, for example, a, um, iPhone users would be using the actual a face ID and a password at the same time. Mm -hmm. So with all of this, what we, we're using is to understand what applications to use to make sure that we, we see what is happening even in the industry. Now, if we all are using AI these days, that means these people are using AI. So it's a matter of making sure I'm up to date with my uh, softwares, the applications that I'm using. And this is ha another way that we can actually just mitigate some certain security factors that can actually play into um, play against us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then given the rise of AI generated content, can we really trust digital identities? No. Right, no, we can't because look, for example, it, it, it doesn't really happen a lot in South Africa where we get identity theft, but if you look at the rise, how this has risen in USA or any European countries where identity theft is a real thing where people get their identity stolen, right? Mm -hmm. Now, the only thing to help us in mitigating or reducing these factors that happen or reducing the, the availability of our information online is not sharing sensitive information. Like for example, personally, I don't like sharing uh, my pictures on Facebook, that's as a personal thing. But there's someone who likes doing that and people can actually get your information that way on social media, Twitter, whatever the case may be. And you can then eventually get your identity stolen or whatever the case may be, because all they're looking for is to make money out of it. So if they're going to follow you for the next six months or a year, they will do that. So it's a matter of just try stay away from spending or, or sending sensitive information out there. You just raised, uh, you know, a totally different dimension to this conversation uh, when you say that, um, you know, you, you don't advise sharing pictures on Facebook because they could share the information. Uh, they could steal the information. Yeah. How is that possible, though, with, uh, with pictures? Okay, for example, simply where I don't know you and many of the cases is that I, I see you on Facebook or I see your, your photo. Right. Mm -hmm. The minute I see a photo with AI, what these criminals do, they take all these photos and create mimicked videos or uh, uh, fake profile or pictures of people. Right okay. now, if you use face recognition, what that AI is able to mimic that and make it if as is it's you actually where it's not you, it's just a fake. They use the picture of you and that's how it happens. Now, for example, I'm just going to move quickly to something you've seen if you person who's a person who watch movies you've seen that they people will release fake trailers of things why because that is being created by what by ai but it doesn't exist you mm. understand so with right. the people are able to steal certain things or certain uh, uh, facial uh, pictures and make their own thing out of it okay and and facial recognition technology is widespread so let's talk about the implications for personal privacy so when we speak about this, the implications is that if you download, let's say, a, 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 a software and the software is not from a, an, an actual originating from Apple or whatever the case may be or Google Play, it is very important not to share banking details because you, you see what happens is that once you download this application, right, it will request for a camera, like camera access and things like that. Mm -hmm. Now, what these guys want, the, the whole purpose is to get paid. They just want to get paid. They'll try and get involved with 
whatever, get as much as information they can out of you to make sure that they get what they want at the end of the day to get paid and to get access to your banking details. And that is how you see. For example, even now with banking apps, they use facial ID. So if they get uh, to be able to hack or get your facial ID, then that means they have access to your bank details or bank account. So those would be the implications that we're talking about. Yeah. You know, one may wonder, you know, uh, facial recognition or facial ID or identification, uh, you may assume that it is very safe because in as much as there is someone out there who looks like me, but they can never be really me, which means, which makes a facial yeah. ID safe, isn't it? No, it doesn't make it safe. For the fact that there's someone similar to you, for example, someone, if I were, I were your twin, that means if you're using facial recognition on your phone, that means I can lift up your phone and it would open, right? Mm -hmm. Now, the reason that I say it's not safe is exactly that. That means any person who has similar features than you can actually open your phone. But it's very important to understand that camera, if, if you just focus on camera-based uh, security, it's not all that 100% uh, flawless, because you must also understand that there's certain implications that come into play depending on the camera quality and all those things. For example, many Apple users will tell you that sometimes they would lift up their phone, it won't want to work, then they would want a password, meaning to tell you that even facial ID has a certain limitations to it. Mm. And that is why it's always best to not only have one a security layer but have another or two security layers on that same same security layer sure and mobile applications of course are so vulnerable to deep fake attacks so what security measures can be taken make sure that you don't share unnecessary camera access to an application number okay. one but also making sure that you download in uh, the application from apple apple store or Google Store. If it's a third party, be very cautious, right? Mm -hmm. Because certain applications don't really need camera access, but if you give them camera access, that means you actually putting yourself in a state where you can be vulnerable and information can be stolen from you, right? right. Now, let's say you're using a laptop, you might have to make sure that you don't give access or you switch your camera many of the times off. And, and AI is driving this uh, deepfake creation. Can it also drive detection? Um, okay, so when it comes to det detection, it, it depends on the sophistication of the application. Now, yes, we do use AI to help us ad enhance our security measures, but also it, it comes to a human factor where we need to be informed. And once we are informed, we're able to mitigate certain issues because you must understand AI is created by human. Yes. And there's always human factors that come into play where we do make mistakes. That means AI will be also be able to make mistakes, but it's all about how you use it. If criminals are using it to get their agenda, we can also use it to get our agenda and make sure people are safe more online. All right, Lucas, as always, thank you so much for sharing your insights and your thoughts with us. We appreciate your time. Thank you. That was Lucas Malifa, cybersecurity consultant, exploring the complex world of deepfake attacks and facial recognition security.